Travis Wayne Goodsell. So the uh, last video that I just uploaded for you hit me hard. I was able to recognize it because I've studied Mormonism, studied the Mormon scriptures, studied the scriptures, studied the ancient languages, studied the ancient cultures, so that I can understand the scriptures better. And then when I was threatened by my bishop, I studied church history using the same pattern that I study the scriptures, which is from my education. <clears throat> and over the years, I've given you examples of how to study the scriptures for yourself. And I've purposely not given you the answers because if I just give it to you, you will never learn. And yet that's exactly what the church has done to you. They give you their answers. You have to read what they tell you to read. And they will not give you answers to questions you have. But when Nelson came out and said he wants all of you bound and yoked to Jesus, How many of you who claim you've studied the Book of Mormon, <clears throat> who claim the Book of Mormon is true, figured out what I already knew from 1 Nephi chapter 13 about the great and abominable church? I'm willing to bet there's not a single one of you. It's frustrating to see how successful the church has been in blinding you and causing Mormonism to be your stumbling block. That only those who leave are the ones who don't like the lies that are being told. They may not know them as lies but they don't like what's being said and done by the church. So when the Book of Mormon tells you that it's written in the learning of the Jews, language of the Egyptians, and yet you go around saying you're Christian and Jesus is your Christ, that either makes you stupid or that makes you evil I'll let you decide which one it is thank you Travis for your giving us our agency but in 2nd Nephi chapter 25 <coughs> Nephi is writing and is given commentary of what he has written and also about what has been written about Isaiah which is after the manner of prophesying among the Jews and I can understand it's separated by a whole book and uh, <clears throat> most people give up trying to read Isaiah and understand it and so this may not be known, but uh, it means the Book of Mormon is not literal history. It means it's a prophecy. The stories in the Book of Mormon are specifically designed as types and shadows for prophecy. They are not literal history. There is no Nephi. There is no Lehi. 
there is no Nephites, Lamanites, Zarahemla. There is no geography. You've been fooled by the great and abominable church because you have not studied your Book of Mormon. <clears throat> and so you get up at the pulpit of church, the Ramiumptum, and you give the same rote thankamony, spiritual witness amony, about how you love the Book of Mormon, and it's so true. My bishop pulled that stunt. I got up and shared my testimony of how it's translated. Joseph Smith is a translator. And uh, he followed up by uh, saying that he too, but as a gift and power of God through revelation, denying science, denying Joseph Smith as a translator. And I didn't have all the pieces put together yet. I hadn't studied church history yet. And so it, it is kind of disturbing when leaders of the church are plotting against you, going behind your back among the membership to destroy you. But Book of Mormon tells us exactly who they are. They are the great and abominable church members. <clears throat> and so, yeah, it's disturbing to have a stalker who is notified of every new video I put up so that they can put a thumbs down. Because nobody but me sees the thumbs down. They know this. They've been doing it for quite a long time. But that's what a stalker is. And a stalker is a dangerous person. They clearly don't love me. They're not keeping that one and only commandment. They hate me. And they do anything they can within their abilities to cause harm to me. And in this particular case, because of the way YouTube has set it up, <clears throat> they're trying to terrorize me. These are Mormons, the enemy of the people. You learn that from the Book of Mormon. Those Mormons are trying to tear down the government <clears throat> using the religious freedom movement. And it's right there in the Book of Mormon. But uh, we uh, had the Mormon myth all through our lives of the Constitution hanging by a thread. And that's not the exact quote from Joseph Smith. Now that we have the Joseph Smith papers, you'd think Mormons would want to look it up. I've given you it. I've spoon-fed it to you. And you still won't study it to learn the truth about the church because there's more in there it's the uh, Constitution will be on the brink of ruin the government in, in a precarious position to be turned into a monarchy and so immediately all of you should have immediately had the mind inspiration of the king men in the Book of Mormon seeking to overthrow the constitution of Mosiah. But you didn't, did you? <clears throat> and yet that's what the church is telling us. Nelson came out in conference talking about Jesus Christ coming for the second coming. To do what? To reign on earth as king of kings, lord of lords? Well, the American government still exists. So what's Jesus going to do if he's real? 
he's going to have to conquer America to take over. Or he's going to be so mighty and powerful that the government will weep and go, oh no, here, take it, oh, we'll give it to you. And I, I found that that's the case. That the governments are going to hand over their government to Jesus. Joseph Fielding Smith Jr. Way to perfection. Page 290 and 291 in the edition that I had. And because I found it, the church again imprisoned me. But Joseph Smith said we were supposed to rescue the government. We were supposed to save the Constitution from the king men. And instead we had Mormons going to the capital to destroy the government, to turn America into a monarchy with one president as king. And Mormons can't see how that's wrong. Those who claim they know the Book of Mormon is true How did you screw that one up? Oh, right, you didn't study the Book of Mormon. You're not putting the pieces together because you're not searching for the pieces to be put together. That's what studying is. Since so Joseph Smith told us that we were supposed to save America and the Constitution, and Brigham Young changed it, that Jesus is going to come and overthrow America and overthrow the Constitution. And Nelson got up and said that very same thing. As he also told you to bind yourself to the yoke with Jesus. The symbol of fascism. <laughs> so in conclusion, it's been nicer doing just Nelson videos. <laughs> I don't have to worry about the interruptions going on around me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, since the Book of Mormon is prophecy, it's obviously about the latter days, right? And so, did you even know that it gives us the dates from which to work within? And then you're going to have to figure out how to study astronomy so that you can learn what those dates are. But I've given the year the answers. It's 2017 to 2024. And I'll let you study to figure it out if you're not going to watch my videos. So, yeah, I'm feeling like Thor. <laughs> I've started watching number four and it's just getting ridiculous it's like they didn't even care about making this movie and you can tell in the actors and their lines that they have but Thor likewise he's just like he's lost his love and so he doesn't care anymore and, and I know exactly what that feels like because I'm living through it <sighs> had two wives and both of them abandoned me and yeah you, you can't be unequally yoked to an unbelieving Mormon woman <laughs> they will bind you to them <sighs> and ruin your marriage <laughs>